Mountain bike racers are putting in some final miles, getting ready for this weekend's Pikes Peak Apex race. Bill Folsom is talking with a local high school cyclist who's taking on the three-day race. Anticipation's building for this week's Pikes Peak Apex race. We're talking to some of the high schoolers sponsored by KOAA. This is Ian. You ready to race? Heck yeah, I'm ready to race. A bird's eye view of Coronado High senior Ian Hunt backs his claim of ready. He doesn't hesitate to drop into technical mountain biking terrain, and he'll be even more aggressive during the Pikes Peak Apex. It's an excuse to go fast, and when I'm racing, I like don't have to worry about other trail users. I'll try to keep up. Serious on the single track, he also likes to give his lifelong coach and sometimes riding partner, known as Dad, some ribbing. It's more I'm. 500 feet in front of my dad. <laughs> the 16-year-old also showed patience with a more than 16-year-old reporter who struggled to keep up on the trail. I did notice uh, you're getting a little sketchy on some parts. A racer with a sense of humor who also mentors at Kids on Bikes, riding with kids, riding with family, and racing. He's always your friend. Biking Zoe for me to get outside and it's easy for me to think while I'm on a bike. He's been racing since sixth grade. His experience includes major events. The Pikes Peak Apex is a new kind of challenge. I've done two days back-to-back -back racing. Uh, I've never done a three-day race, but I'm feeling pretty confident in it. I usually put in big miles back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. In the granny year. Hunt is aware of the many fast riders at the Apex. He also knows this kind of race requires more than just speed. One of his strengths, is endurance. I can go uphill, I can go downhill. Where I shine is where everybody's going to be really tired and I can just, and I'm just going to motor past them. The three days of the Pikes Peak Apex is this Friday and this is why Ian is racing and I am not. In Colorado <laughs> Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.